this is the one thing that I seriously wanted to fix about myself. I always like to use this no sebum powder from Innisfree on my hair like dry shampoo and it works really well it doesn't leave any like white residue on your hair I'm getting ready to go shoot for this outfit that was sent from the brand Tinsel Rack Look at the top, it's so cute Thinking of going to this Lotus Park to take my pictures there but I'm pretty sure Lotus Flower doesn't bloom during the evening but I just thought this outfit would look cute with the green background so we'll see I recently got the self-adhesive lashes, individual lashes to try individual lashes apparently you don't need to use lash glue with this if this works it's gonna be perfect for me because whenever I try to wear individual lashes they always look so messy because of the lash glue Does look pretty natural. Does look pretty good. Growing up, I used to be really insecure about my eyes. It's the one thing that I hated the most about my feature. I would always hear things like, "Oh, your eyes are small. Oh, you're small, so you can't see your eyes completely." And even in high school, I've heard things like, "You look so much prettier if you have double eyelids." Or have you ever thought of getting a double eyelid surgery? Which I seriously did consider, especially during my uni days. In my uni days, this is the one thing that I seriously wanted to fix about myself. I'm so happy that I didn't went through the double eyelid surgery. I feel like people who say those things to me, like, oh, I can't see your eyes anymore when you smile doesn't mean it in a bad way, they were just kind of joking but I kind of took it as like a criticism because the beauty standard has always been having like big round eyes with double eyelid and long lashes but yeah, now if you were to ask me what's the feature that I like most about myself I would say my eyes I, I feel like I would look so different if I were to have double eyelid and I just wouldn't look like me anymore I wish to have double eyelids so bad back then that I would just poke too big in my eye like this to just kind of see what I look like but it will never stay and those double eyelid tapes just doesn't work on me because I have such heavy <laughs> eyelids but yeah mm, not bad it's very easy to use lash glue Let's see what it looks like Gotta be quick because it looks like it's about to rain soon Hehe <laughs> This is my photographer. Thank you. 
is my first time attempting to make tomato fried egg. Panche chao tan, mala lady fingers. to unbox. I got myself a watch because I've been feeling like my outfit is missing something. This is a Casio the it's pretty big on me, so I'll have to bring it somewhere to get it readjusted. But I think it looks nice. Also received a package from Castify. I love all of my Castify cases, so I'm very very excited for this. Oh my gosh. They let me pick out two cases and one airport case. Hello Kitty is my favorite Samuel character, so what's that position look like? It's still a cute case. Also got a PR from The Ordinary. This is my first time seeing a lip product in this kind of packaging. It's so cute. And this is actually from a local brand called Mellow Jello. They sent me two of the same sets which was so nice of them. This is their hydrating soothing mask. Oh, this is the lashes I bought. This is this cute little hairband thing. Okay. I think this looks the best. And this is their marshmallow candle. It smells really good. It smells kind of like body wash. I don't think I'll ever bring this just because it's so cute. That's all for my mini haul. I've been itching to do some shopping lately, so maybe more hauls will be coming. <laughs> I don't know. I got up kind of late this morning, I think about like 10 a.m. And I got the call the moment I reached for my phone. Got a package in the mail and my iPad is here. If you have been watching my last two vlogs, you would know that I had this whole saga with my old iPad. So an update of that is that they still couldn't fix it and I ended up just 
trading in my old device so i basically waited a month of nothing i placed an order online two days ago it came so much earlier than the expected delivery date it was supposed to be here next monday it came two days early honestly if there's nothing wrong with my old ipad i really wouldn't think of ever upgrading it or like getting a new one but this one is pretty cool the color is so cute and i'm excited to Uh, my fingerprint it's so pretty but it doesn't look that different than my ipad 4 ipad air 4 and this is the ipad air 6 i just got the base model and this has 128 gig storage and my previous ipad only had like 64 which wasn't really enough because i downloaded some games on it like genshin and withering wave i also got the new Pencil Pro. There is not much of an upgrade for the iPad but this is their major upgrade and I'm pretty excited about this because it now came with so many new features and I'm very excited to play around with this. I use my iPad basically for all my thumbnail works and also whenever I'm editing for short form videos. So yeah, this looks exactly the same as well. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and play around with it now. Hello, hello from a less bloated version of Christine. I was editing this video and I realized how bloated I look when I was unboxing my iPad. It has been a few days and I'm finally done setting up my iPad so I thought I would do a little iPad tour. No one really asked but I remember doing one of this few years back when I first got my iPad. I remember being so excited when I was unboxing it because it was like my first Apple product that I bought with my own money during my uni days. Also my case is finally here. I just got a simple grey case that has like this Y fold. It's cool because you can kind of like fold it in different ways. I got it from Shopee and I'll link it down below if you guys want it. I basically use this thing to organize my whole life. I use this for work and my personal stuff. I'm such an iPad kid. You can take away my TV but you, you can't take away my iPad. And this is the first time I actually put in efforts to do the whole setup. So this is what my first page looks like. I have the Cesa album cover. Um, as the background of my clock and I have this few widgets here with some quotes that I found on Pinterest they're just pretty to look at and the app that I use for these widgets are called MD widgets I did pay for it and I think it was like $9.90 and I like that this widgets you can just tap on it and it would change to another pictures that you have and right here I have this little mood tracking widget it's from this app what's it called? Emo lock. Yeah, if you're wondering why I was feeling a little nervous, a little under the weather, it's because my dog, my little puppy, just went for his spaying surgery yesterday. And we were so worried about him because of all the horror story I've been listening to, like of surgery going wrong. But yeah, he's fine, he's recovering well, he's doing really well right now. Um, he's currently sleeping in my bedroom. But yeah, that's just my what my homepage looks like. And in the middle next to my clock widget, I have my reminder widget. I love using the reminder widget. You can create a bunch of lists with it and here I just have my upcoming campaign slash brand deals just to help me keep track with it. I only have two pages on my iPad and the second page is also kind of in the same layout. And I recently found this really cool app called MD Vinyl which is this little widget that I have right here. It syncs to Spotify and you can play the music like a vinyl. Basically just play it like this also fast forward the music by dragging it like a real vinyl and switch to the next song it's just a fun little app to have and when you have your music playing it spins as a widget as well so i thought that was really cool this is basically what my setup looks like i like to keep it really clean and under my to-do widgets i also have my notion page and i think that's basically it i have skillshare and pixel studio this is just a fun little app to create pixel art i just went in blindly and um this is the first pixel art that i created <laughs> I just kind of want to see without any tutorial what would I create and 
We'll see how much I improve from now. Honestly, I can't believe it's already July and so much has happened this year. This whole year has been the most growth and learning I've done over the past few years of my life. I know I haven't been as active on here and posting as much as I used to. I really want to try to create different types of video again besides just vlogging. Let me know what kind of theme content you guys would like to see from me because I'm feeling a little creatively stuck right now and I really want to get out of this creative rut and just feel inspired again. Thank you so much for sticking around and making it this far into this video. I hope you are doing well and I'll see you in my next video.